race or gender. I vote policies and hers, she doesn't have any, but if she did, they'd be disastrous. She's already told you what she would do. She, she will support illegals and it will be uh, black folks go on, get to the back of the bus again, because once she has what she wants, the door shuts. No more black church visits, no more Essence Awards. Oh yeah, no more money for HBCUs. This is all a stunt, it's all an act, and people need to wake up. This is about protecting this country. Do you not understand? We don't have another chance if she gets her grimy little hands on the keys to this nation. It's a wrap. Propaganda onslaught, the things that we've seen over the past couple of weeks. I mean, it's insane. It's a very well-oiled machine, right? What we do have in our favor is that people do not trust any of this stuff anymore. At this point in the game, people know that they're being propagandized. So I think that a lot of people on this Zoom have the opportunity to reach out to people directly that are either done with the propaganda and also, by the way, are never going to follow any of, you know, these Trump people, right? Are, are never really going to listen to anything that they're saying. So I would have, a, I, I think, have some faith in our messaging and in the people that you can reach. Hey, welcome back. It's your man Wise. And today I have a great video to share with you guys. This is a video that I found on X. Shout out to Dom Lucre. I want to make sure I hope I'm pronouncing your name properly, but shout out to that brother right there, man. He had a Zoom call last week. I believe it was either Thursday or Friday. It was Blacks Against Harris Zoom call. They say it was extremely successful. They had over 72,000 people show up. 72,000 people showed up to this Blacks Against Harris Zoom call. The difference between us and them, and this is straight from the uh, post from Dom Lucre is, is that uh, Democrats is that we uploaded the video instead of selected clips with celebrities like white guys for Harris did. You can find the entire, um, you can find the entire Zoom call. It's on YouTube. All right, if I can go ahead and find it, I will make sure that I post that in the uh, description box for you guys to see if you want to go and check out the entire video. But this clip right here, man, this clip right here gives you a real um, uh, insider look at the kind of conversations that are being had around this upcoming election and about Kamala Harris, the faux black woman that the liberals want to tell you that you have to vote for because she's black. They don't want to give you any policy. They don't want to tell you what her plan is for America, what her plan is for the black community. They don't want to do any of that. They simply want you to vote for her because she's black and she is a woman. You can't make this stuff up, man. That's what that's, this is what we're living in. You know, this is the type of stuff that we're dealing with in 2025. I'm sorry, 2024. Goodness gracious, as we head into 25. This is ridiculous, man. It's flat out ridiculous. But like, share, subscribe to the channel. Drop me a comment down below. I appreciate all the love and support. Let's get into the video. Can reach. Then just imagine what kind of harm she is going to do to black people with the so power that she will have and the control that she will have in her hand. She would destroy us. When you look at that video that's out there and that woman said, oh, I'm not gonna do anything for black people. Did you see that look on her face? Yeah. She said that with sincerity from the bottom of her heart. So I mm. don't know when people tell you who they are, believe them. Absolutely. The lady already said that out of her mouth that she don't have no intentions of doing nothing for the black community. So we as black people need to stop being loyal to people that are not gonna be loyal to us. You know, everything she touch is dangerous. And people gotta realize this this is a election this election is very crucial to people to understand what she's all about. She's not about nobody but herself in the party and she's not in charge. As we all are aware, Democrat policies just really haven't been too beneficial for black Americans. You know, prior to the 1960 civil rights movement, which was shifted. So our, you know, JFK Jr., sorry, JFK Jr. actually had a civil rights uh, proposition 
that was a lot better than what LBJ had presented. He actually altered it after the death of JFK Jr. But prior to the civil rights implementation, we actually had a higher participation rate in the workforce. I think we had higher birth rates and, you know, we also had a higher marriage rate than I think of the white counterparts. And it's crazy when you also look at the people that were destroying our cities. When you think of Black Wall Street, it was a bombing that was ordered by the National Guard, but the governor, James B.A. Robertson, was a Democrat that ordered a bombing up in Oklahoma. So they're probably- All the people, all those folks that were fighting against black folks during the civil rights movement, those were all Democrats. You look at the governor down in Alabama, you look at that dude out in Mississippi, you look at the folks in Georgia, these were all Democrats. And for the life of me, I just don't understand why black folks continue to support the party that has been staunchly against you. And he's absolutely right. Ever since that last civil rights uh, act or, or bill was implemented, black folks have been on a path of destruction ever since then. When you start talking about the Morningham report and it was like, hey, that, that report that said, you know what, we need to invest into black men because black men are going to take care of the family. And they decided not to do that. They decided that, no, we're going to put that money into black women. We're going to ostracize the black men. We're going to put these we're going to put these women and children in situations to where, yes, you take our money. You can you can have it. We'll put you up in a place, but you can't have your, your no husbands, no fathers. They cannot be there to help rear these children. And look at where that has gotten us. These communities are decimated. And I know the likes of Joy Reid and some of these other, you know, some of these other, you know, what they would call tethers and, uh, you know, so forth and so on. But I'm not even going to get on that right now. But these people were upset with Byron Donald when he said that during the Jim Crow the black family was in a better situation. And he's absolutely right. When you look at the fact that we had more marriages, uh, the, the likelihood, excuse me, of a child, a black child being reared up in a nuclear family was so much higher then than it is today. We had, you know, a, a plethora of black owned uh, businesses where people knew that, hey, entrepreneurship is the way to go. We gave it all away. And we've been on a path of self-destruction ever since, man. Policies really haven't benefited us all the way back from the past to right now is just my opinion. I think if we ever endorse anything that's liberal, it leads to our destruction. Yeah, uh, Hip hop itself is pretty liberal. I wouldn't say hip hop is really conservative. It might have some conservative aspects to it, but for the most part, it pushes out liberal agendas and that doesn't really serve us well as I mean, either. Yeah, I can tell you, we got to stand up and we got to fight. We got to pull you back. And this is why you see me on social media. I drag the ass because I care absolutely nothing about <laughs> evil. I care nothing about my professionalism. I have two college degrees. I don't give a damn about those degrees. And uh, if you're going to get in the gutter, I'm going to get in the gutter with your ass. So you have got to fight. You can't be nice to demons. You can't be nice to people. You have got to push back and destroy these people where they stand. And this is what I do on a daily basis. Tell me, oh, you're too rough. You're too, I'm not rough enough. Because mm -hmm. if I was, then the evil wouldn't be out there. And I care about this. So vote for me. And in 10 years, they're the ones that's 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 that, that got the, 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 the pink hair and the blue hair and the, the, the weird makeup and et cetera, et cetera, because this is what been, that I mean, that that's how they've been taught. And the Democrats literally basically brainwashed them into feeling like they support that because they create it. She is disingenuous. She doesn't know what she's doing. She's She doesn't like us. I'm just gonna say it. She doesn't like us. She is Indian and Jamaican. She is constantly riding on the backs of black people who have helped to build this great nation. And I want the nation saved. I don't care about identity That's politics. True. I don't vote race or gender. I vote policies and hers, she doesn't have any, but if she did, they'd be disastrous. She's already told you what she would do. She, she will support illegals and it will be uh, black folks go on, get to the back of the bus again, because once she has what she wants, 
the door shuts. No more black church visits, no more Essence Awards. Oh yeah, no more money for HBCUs. This is all a stunt, it's all an act. And people need to wake up. This is about protecting this country. Do you not understand? We don't have another chance if she gets her grimy little hands on the keys to this nation. It's a wrap. Wow. Listening to that last sister, man, she gave me chills, man. The hair stood up on my back, man, because she's absolutely right. That lady doesn't have policies. She doesn't have any policies to stand on. And the policies that they do want to implement are destructive to this country they do not mean us any good they do not mean to help us but i want to share something with you guys real fast and then i'm gonna continue uh with my uh commentary here i want to share this with you um i want to make sure that you guys can see this so if you see this is the median household income in the united states by ethnic group as you can see the very top of the top is indian americans followed by Filipino Americans, Taiwanese Americans, Sri Lankan Americans, Japanese Americans, Malaysian Americans, Chinese Americans, Pakistani Americans. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight demographics of people. All Asian, all Asian, and I'm not knocking them. Now, the Democrats wanna tell you that this, is, that this country is racist. But yet we have eight different demographics of Asian people that are the highest earning people in the country. You got to go all the way down to nine to find white Americans. They're at 59,900, almost 60,000. And then you go right behind them, Indonesian, Koreans, Bangladeshi, Nepali. These are another group. One, two, three, four more groups tie. So that's one, two, three, four, five more groups of Asian people that are some of the highest earning people in the country. Now, look at this right here. African Americans, Black Americans, whatever you want to call us, 35,000, and we are the lowest demographic on the totem pole. Now I wanted to share this guy. I wanted to share this with you because also the only population of people in this country that vote Democrat at 90 plus percent clips. Everywhere where there is majority black people, it's being led by a Democrat, whether it's your state uh, uh, state representative, your state senator, your uh, um, you know your representative in the House. Everywhere you look at the mayors, anywhere where the majority is black, Democrats are leading the pay, are leading the way. Now, if this country was truly a racist country, there's no way you'd have eight, nine different demographic of people ahead of white folks if it was truly, truly a racist nation. But we have black folks at the on the lower, 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 lowest end of the totem pole. But yet we continue to support the party that continues to place us in this position. So it's pretty obvious that they haven't done anything. Now, I'm not one of those kind of people that say, hey, government, do something for us. Give us something. I'm not one of those. I'm a person that says, get the heck out my way. Give me the ability to work for it and let me go make it happen. Now, we have had a host of people that have come over here that have immigrated to this country legally. And within a generation or two, they are doing quite well for themselves. You look at the Indian Americans, they are doing very well for themselves. Majority of them are probably, you know, first, second generation Americans, maybe third generation Americans. No knock to them. But when you think about what they believe in, they believe in getting married. They don't believe in uh, having children out of wedlock. And they're really putting an emphasis on education and not just any old education, not just going to college for the sake that my kid's going to college, but they actually go and obtain skills and degrees that will put them in a position where they can be some of the highest earning people in the country. Why is it that we continue to support a party 
that don't want to see us flourish. See, the thing about the Democrats is they need an underclass. They have to have it. They got to have an underclass because without that underclass, they can't make all these false promises that they're going to help pull you up when they know they have absolutely zero intent nor interest in doing so. I am so excited to see black people start to, or, or black people wake up, flee from the democratic plantation, flee from it. I am so happy to see it because I keep saying this, this isn't about racism. That, this, uh, um, that chart, it showed that this isn't about racism in this country. It's about ideology. You got people that really believe in family, building strong nuclear families, raising their children up in that way, being, getting educated, being entrepreneur, entrepreneurs, and building strong businesses and building strong communities. And you see where it will take you if you choose to live your life accordingly. But for whatever reason, we still have a group of people that are still believing that the Democrats are here to save them. Someone like Kamala Harris is here to save them. We know it's not true, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Drop me a comment down below. I appreciate all the love and support. Consider joining the ARP family. It supports me, the team, the channel. Gives us the ability to do what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Keep God first in your life. Stay prayed up, and I'm going to catch up with you all next time. Peace.